Good morning, Borgo Geeks. Daddy here from Summon Games. We're back. <laughs> oh, God, it's been so long. So many delays, so many things going wrong. Too many Kickstarters. So, we apologise. We should be back in the full swing of things. And we can have people come round. And we can play games. And I'm probably going to move this table into the other room where the computer is so we can live stream. But until that point, let's get on with it. So, um, I missed this one the first time round. It's Who Goes There by Certifiable Studios. It's based on The Thing. It's one of my all-time favourite films of all. Just, wow, it's one of the best sci-fi. I want to say horror. I don't class it as horror. It's just sci-fi. Um, thriller? No? Horror? Anyway. It's one of my favourites. And to have the board game, and I've played the first edition and loved it. I got tricked at the very, very last hurdle. Um, after acquiring a flamethrower. <laughs> a very, very lucky roll. Oh my god, this box is massive. Come on! Okie dokie. What has changed? Not a lot, actually. Oh, more people. Blair. So, I remember playing... I played Dr. Cooper last time. Oh, Copper, sorry. Uh, but right now, it's give everyone... So, Benin's, Barclay, Caldwell, Conant, remember, oh, Ray. Norris, Dan Wall, Blair, Blair. I wonder if they're going to do the um, next, the prequel. Or was that in this? I can't remember. But rule book, heavy, normal size for a rule book. Oh no, we've got a bunch of things. Oh no. Loads. So that comes with fire axe, crowbars, pouches, fire axe, crowbars, camp event, red axes, green critical strikes, strikes. I remember those. They're not. They're not good for you. They're not good for anybody. I need one more. XP overstock. Okay. Sorry, it's another unboxing, but we will get people round to play. Two sides of the board again. This looks different. No, it doesn't. Because you've got to run. Go get to here to escape. Yeah, you got three phases to get out. That's how I remember. Oh, what's this? Endangered Rooms of Wrath. Oh, I was going to back that one. I just didn't. Oh, no. I've got to sort everything out. Say what? So, we've got, as you see, uh, a lovely, lovely player character sheets. Where you can put your equipment, which is awesome. Be anything. <gasps> yes, we got the dice as well. Ah, oh, so fit. It's got the big ass dice, fire dice. Wait, hold on. <gasps> da -da -da -da! For the first time, Avalanche, we found more stuff. Haha, <laughs> amazing. Cubes, I can't remember what they for. Um, there's, there's loads of them. Cubes, cubes. Oh, uh, dice will look at those crystals. Uh, cards, cards. Oh my god, it's cards. 
character cards. Let's have a look. So I haven't really told you what the game is about. Okay, so uh, when you I can't remember when you pick these up. Oh, when you're vulnerable, it says it on the back. So when you hit a position in the game where your class is vulnerable, you have to draw one of these cards. So that's sleeping on your own, going out into the wilderness, getting attacked, and you draw these cards, and you keep hold of them, you don't put them back. Uh, eventually, someone will draw this card, which means you are now infected. Spoilers. When you become infected, um, I can't see them. I'll find them. Uh, you have like a slide bar, so you can act as normal, or you can slide it to the thing. I'll, I'll, it's better to show you than verbally explain it. So when you are asleep with someone, um, you pass each other's each other's slide to identify each other. Um, so if it shows green, you're both human or supposedly human. Um, and if they slide you one that's purple, then they've just infected you whilst you were both asleep. Um, so various cards, the artwork is amazing. I still love it. I'm in love. Burn stuff, shoot stuff. Med stuff, stamina stuff. Is it someone there? It is McCready. McCready must have all the alcohol. Yes. So these are item cards that you progressively go through. Each person has a unique uh, card. I think that's his. Or kitchen stash. Is that Kinner? Yeah. I can't remember that. I don't even see what that one plays. I will play to use players may spend one XP on this card to draw from any of the three decks inside. Oh, I forgot about the decks inside. And the dock gets the blood test, which I never got in the game. Ever. That's why I lost, and that's what I'm blaming it on. Because I, I, I completely think that's a thing. Um, I don't want to crack them all open because I don't have enough space. Yeah, I'll do this one. You get the general gist. So the idea is you, you are going around the outpost, outpost 31. Uh, you're acquiring things as you go along. Um, there's camp events where things will break or uh, madman, you know, why not? Uh, get hit and a vulnerable card. Receive. Oh no. There's loads of, loads of loads of things that go wrong. Setbacks. I remember this is this is everything. Everything was a setback. There was nothing you could do. Everything was caution, caution, caution. Uh, things were buildable. The camp events were all bad. Bar a couple. Um, Workshop had plenty of stuff for you to build your um, the scarfs and whatnot. So there is like minor crafting in this, which is awesome. And the old key. Let's move to a different location. Ooh, never seen that one in the uh, in the old game. The shuffle is really well moved play. Let me. I can't remember if it's still. I think it's still two to four players. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Two to four players. So that hasn't changed. And the thing is still pretty. It's still pretty! Right, so what's this? <gasps> There's compartments. 
Ah, oh, here they are. Yes. Sliders. So, green's good. That is bad. So, if we're sleeping and we pass each other our clicky dicks, clicky dicks, <laughs> clicky, clickety clicks, um, and we both pass that, we're green. But then, if one person does that, uh, you are now infected. But they have to be infected to do it. No tomfoolery, please. How many have I got? Six. It must be, it must be uh, adaptable to six players now. Huh? Oh, let's play at eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, six players. Oh, yeah, these, it tells you how to make stuff. Ha ha! And these become awesome. There is an event, um, this is how I got it, there was an event that came up, I can't remember which deck it's in, uh, which says, roll a dice, and on a six, you get a flamethrower. And I did. Anything else was just mentally bad. There's Gary. Oh, is that Gary? That might be Gary. Who's that then? I can't be, is that McCready? Must be McCready. That's Copper. And that's Kinner. Kinner! So the flame for a guy must be McCready. Pooch. Because Pooch. And then, because it's the deluxe, bear with me, ladies and gentlemen. Oh God, there's, there's more. We've got everyone down here as well. Ha. <laughs> I like that they kept the uh, the hairstyles the same. That is brilliant. That is awesome. I am loving it. I'll show you more. Oh, oh, he gets a dog. He gets a dog. Oh no. Oh no. That's amazing. More dice. Character cards. More cards, stuff that goes in there, and all the new characters, which are playable from the offset. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. This I forget like how, how much they've actually put into this. How well they fought it out. Like each character has their own actions and abilities. Some are good at fighting, some are good at whatever else. <laughs> Things, crafting stuff. Um, oh, and that was the other thing. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It actually tells you the breakdown of your deck. So the U is your unique card, and then everything else is as is. Everyone gets the same kind of cards but your unique card is you unique to you alone no one can use it no one else gets it that's why I am in love with this game that's why it's here in my home because I wanted it I don't know how I'm gonna store all this again they were there I think no. Yes. Yes. I don't want to crack everything over because I've, I'm literally backlogged with games at the minute. But, as you can tell, all the inlays are there. The deluxe edition is awesome. More characters, which I can't wait to play. But I think we'll do a standard run first. I have left stuff out, as the usual. Um, I was gonna back in danger and I didn't because I was poor. Oh well, I'll find it. I will find it. 
So for a survival game, it's gonna be brilliant. So the idea is you start off, you have your own unique, yeah, your own unique decks. You go around, you craft things for yourself, you help one another, you have to sleep. When you sleep, bad things can happen if you're on your own. Um, it just gets better from there. And the idea is you got to last X amount of days or time when it... Uh, oh, it's here. It's here, it tells me. So, here's the rounds. Um, so, you have to survive all the way through this till this point when the helicopter's left and you have to get there on that turn. So, I think we started setting out around here here and moved our way across during these rounds um then we had to eat sleep here that's where the infected infected the other guy and then we jumped into the house up there because uh, they they got me good they argued logic to me and logic is my downfall <laughs> Um, so all in all, it's a humongous game with everything in it. Um, but, um, for those of you who want to know how humongous it is, there is a Astro Minotauran soldier with a grenade launcher. That's how tall it is. Easy. Simple. So that's who goes there. It has been so long, guys. I am so sorry it has taken so long for everything to arrive with the world and everything in it. We'll get back to some normality and we're still going strong. I've been on Twitch non stop. I'll say non stop. I've, been, I've had a few weeks off here and there. Um, and then we hope to turn that into this playing board games, room, reviewing the board games once we've finished, having a laugh with you as a community, and we'll see what happens. I think, um, I don't want to get my hopes up, but I was talking to a company the other day uh, about a few prototypes coming our way. Nothing set in stone yet, it was just a general message if we'd be interested, I said yep, I didn't even hesitate, I said yep. So, more news on that to follow. Uh, come find us on Facebook. We're under Summon Games. Uh, we tend to share a lot of the, what's coming out through various companies and board gaming groups and post it to ours if you haven't seen it. Um, I think that's it, to be honest. Uh, uh, oh, that's... Yeah. I think that's it. There's more news to follow too, I hope. Okay, everyone, take care. Um, hopefully we get to play games at least once a week. That'd be awesome. Right, catch you all in the next one.